Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to look at references and some of the features that you have on this part of the ribbon, in particularly the bibliography and these two smart lookup researcher and citations. So first of all, the smart lookup feature. So if I type, for example, the word Spartan and then highlight that word and click on smart lookup what this feature does it if you're on the internet it will give you some information about spartan spartan helmets and stuff like that there it will also tell you what it means and give you different meanings so this is the spartans as in greece sparta in greece this is the word spartan as in spartan harsh hard frugal that sort of thing so that's smart lookup. The one next to it is called researcher. If I click on that, it gives you this little feature. If I type Spartan in there, it's going to come up in this case, it's coming up with Sparta in Greece. It gives you a similar sort of information and links to different websites that are relevant to Spartan. So both these features obviously are dependent on internet connections. So let's just get rid of that one. So next I want to look at how you insert a citation. So citation, add new source. So let's add a book and I will be the author. And the book is called The Door. It was written in 2008, Cramlington. You don't have to fill all this information in if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. And that is it. I'll just OK that. And then you get the citation appearing there. So if you had some text, just get some text there. I could now go insert citation there's a short reference to it puts it inside the text like so and then if i want to add a bibliography at the bottom or at the end of a document i can then select this option before i select the option there you've got these different formatting styles you've got also different styles there i've selected this one harvard but there are lots of different styles so i'll leave it on that one and then you just click this button and select bibliography, bibliography and it drops it in like that. So that bit there is just a short reference to it. So if I undo that, take that off for a minute. What you've also got is this little drop down where you can add, if you want, just placeholders. So you know you're going to do a citation. So if I click into there, for example, and I've just typed the word glimpse, but I want to do a citation, but I haven't got it added yet. I can just put a placeholder like that and I can give that a name if I want to so click OK to that. It just puts that in there. And then you can later on just edit this and add a citation as you wish. So that's um, inserting citations so you can create a bibliography after a report or a dissertation. What you've got next to that is captions. So when you insert a caption, you've got things like figure one table one and stuff like that if I drop this list down you've got table and you can add your own so if I was just add my own I'll just call it sax okay so that now becomes available in that list the auto caption feature if I click on that will give you if I tick any of these every time you do one of these features it will put the caption on for you so if I select um, word table the find word table there if I tick that and then it's going to put the caption above and click OK to that nothing's happened yet but if I go and insert a table quickly it puts table one above that for me if I insert another table it'll put table two and so on and so on now if I insert a picture I can do a caption for that so insert picture this device um, 
Let's go to family tree and pick one of my pictures. Better pick myself. So there's a picture. So if I now go back to references, I can select caption. It's picking up table three, but I don't want that. I want it to say sax one. And then it's selected below. Change that to above. Okay. And then if I do another picture, I'll do another picture. Uh, don't know what that is. That will do. It's quite a big picture, that. Same thing applies. You can then add the captions above or below. Just make it a lot smaller than that. Take it right down. So it's on the same page and then go back to references, insert caption, sacks to it automatically, picks it up, picks up that. Okay. And then what you can do at the bottom there is, I'll come onto this next page, you can insert a table of figures. So if I click on that, so it's got this one. So yeah, I'll click okay to that. And then if I do it again, insert table of figures, um, change that to figure okay hasn't found a figure i didn't do any figures i just did table so i'll just get rid of that one so if i pick that insert that and select table it should pick up the table so we've got two tables there so that's how that caption works and how you can create your own bits and bobs and your own little tables of information at the end of a document so people can then quickly hyperlink back to them from these numbers hold your control key down it will take you back to that page now if i just close this down for a second i'm not going to save that this is a document where i've got heading styles so you've got table of contents where you can create on the references tab a table of content contents so it drops it in like so We've also got next to the caption, you've got this feature cross reference where you can cross reference from one item to another. So what I want to do is, um, let's just say I'm there. I want to cross reference to another heading style somewhere. So if I select the option, go up to heading and then you've got heading text or you can just go above or below. So I'll do, um, below and then say I want it to link to chapter three. So insert. And then if I close that, this is just basically a, another hyperlink. So I can see, I can type C below or C chapter below. And then people can click on, on that to go to that chapter three. Now, the other features that you can use cross-reference to are page numbers, headings, and also footnotes. If you insert a footnotes, if I put that there, I put not 2020, there's a little hyperlink again, which if you click on that, will take you to the footnote. I'll show you that, what it is. So there's a footnote, if I can get it to show. There. Now, if I want to do a, a link to that, to the footnote, which I know it's no point in this example because you can see it, I could do a cross-reference to that. So cross-reference to footnote and just below insert. And then you could do C below there again. Oh, I've put above, I should just put a below. Doesn't matter, you get the idea. But that then is a hyperlink to the reference number. But you can actually see the footnote there. Now, the other feature you've got in here is this on the right side is mark citation. We've already seen in a previous video about marking index entries, but mark citation is the same sort of thing. When you click on that box, it's asking you to select some text. So if I just select, um, corporations and organizations and mark this before I mark it let's say this is a case so mark okay in fact let's say that's um 
mark. Okay, let's mark that as a statue. Let's do that again. So if I do program and mark, if I highlight organizations and change that as, so I put that as cases and mark, and then highlight another word, mark, and then if I click, highlight another word, mark, um, that one, mark. And then if you close that, if I scroll to the bottom, you can insert a table of authorities. And if I, you've got the different options there, you can select, I'll leave it on all, click OK, and it just drops them in their, in their different sections, so cases or statutes, whichever one you selected. And then show hide is on, so you can go back and take show hide off, and then just gets rid of all those paragraph markers, and you can see your, your document, your cases and statutes. So that was on references, you have to mark the citation first, mark citation, select what it is, so that's the rules, and then you select mark, and it puts it in. Close that, then you would have to, um, if I highlight this, you'd have to update table, entire table, because it's a new entry, and then that should have put that in cases there. Okay, so that's the end of this little video. Quick look at the um, insert citation, bibliography, captions, and inserting cita citations, cases, and other statutes. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you in the next one.